That is to say, a good turn from above concerning him, CF children of Israel. Or, uh, or retribution from above concerning me, CF. Plot's wife. Four, a spectacular vindication of the principle that each individual coin spent individually is as likely to come down heads as tails and should cause no surprise each individual time it does. Oh my god. <laughs> I've never known anything like it. And a syllogism. One, she has never known anything like it. Two, she's never known anything to write home about. Three, it is nothing to write home about. Home. What's the first thing you remember? The first thing that comes into my head, you mean? No, 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 no. What's the first thing you remember? Oh, um... No. It's gone. It was a long time ago. Oh, no, you don't get my meaning. <coughs> Look, what is the first thing after the, the, all the things you've forgotten? Oh, I see! Yeah. I've forgotten the question. That's it, yes. <laughs> Are you happy? Huh? Content? At ease? Oh, I suppose so. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> what are you going to do now? I don't know. Well, what do you want to do? I have no desires. None! <laughs> Wait a minute. That's right. There was a messenger. We were sent for. Syllogism the second! One, probability is a factor which operates within natural forces. Two, probability is not operating as a factor. Three, we are now within unsolvable supernatural forces. Discuss. Well, not too heatedly. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. What's the matter with you? The scientific approach to the examination of phenomena is a defense against the pure emotion of fear. But keep tight hold and continue while there's still time. Now, counter to the previous syllogism. This is a tricky one. Follow me closely. It may prove a comfort. Look, if we postulate, and we just have it within unsub or supernatural forces, the probability is that the law of probability will not operate as a factor. Then we must accept that the probability of the first part will not operate as a factor. In which case, the law of probability will operate as a factor within unsub or supernatural forces. And since it obviously hasn't been doing so, we can take it that we are not held within unsub or supernatural forces after all. You know, probability that is. <laughs> Which is a great relief to me personally. <clears throat> Which is all very well accepted. Look, we have been spinning coins since, well, since I don't know when. And in all that time, if it is all that time, I don't suppose either of us was more than one or two gold pieces up or down. And I hope this doesn't sound surprising to you. Because it's very unsurprising. This is something I'm trying to keep a hold of. I mean, the equanimity of your average tosser of coins depends upon a law. Or rather a tendency. Or let us say a probability. Or at any rate, a mathematically calculable chance which ensures that he will not upset himself by losing too much, nor upset his opponent by winning too often. But this created one kind of a kind of confidence, a kind of a kind of humanity. It related the fortuitous and the ordained into a reassuring union which we recognize as nature. The sun came up about as often as it went down in the long run. And the coin showed heads about as often as it showed tails. <coughs> Then a messenger arrived. We had been sent for. Nothing else happened. Ninety-two coins spun consecutively have come down here. Ninety-two consecutive times. <clears throat> and for the last three minutes, on the wind of a windless day, I have heard the sound of drums and a flute. Another curious scientific phenomenon is the fact that the fingernails grow <clears throat> after death, as does the beard. <laughs> what? A beard. But you're not dead. <laughs> I didn't say they started to grow after death. The fingernails also grow before birth. Though not the beard. What? <laughs> beard! What's the matter with you? Um. <laughs> um, the toenails, on the other hand, they never grow at all. <laughs> the toenails never grow at all. Do they? You know, it's a funny thing. I cut my fingernails all the time. And every time I think to cut them, they need cutting. Like now, for instance. And yet, I never, to the best of my knowledge, cut my toenails. They ought to be curled under my feet by now. But that just doesn't happen. You know, every time I think to cut them, they don't need cutting. You know, perhaps I caught them absentmindedly. What was the first thing you remember this morning? <laughs> I woke up, I suppose. 
Uh, we played to Bigger, of course, but quality counts for something. I recognized you at once. And who are we? As fellow artists. I thought we were, um, a gentleman. Oh, for some of us it is performance, for others patronage. They're two sides of the same coin. Or oh, let us say, being as there are so many of us, the same side of two coins. <laughs> yeah. well, don't clap too loudly, it's a very old world. <laughs> what is your line? Oh, <coughs> tragedy, sir. Deaths and disclosures, both universal and particular. The nuance, both unexpected and inexorable. Uh, we can do you transvestite melodrama on all levels, including the suggestive. <laughs> <laughs> we transport you to a world of intrigue and illusion. Clowns, if you like. Murderers. We can do you ghosts and battles on the skirmish level. Heroes, villains, tormented lovers, set pieces in the poetic vein. We can do you rape or rapiers or both. Oh, by all means, faithless wives, ravished virgins, flagrante delicto at a price. But that comes under the heading of realism, for which there are special terms. Getting warm, am I? Oh, well, I don't know. Oh, it costs a nickel to watch, and a little more if you happen to get caught up in the action, if that's your taste and times to be on the arm. Oh, what are they? Indifferent. Wicked. Now, what precisely is your pleasure? Gentlemen, disport yourself. <laughs> Trade. Ten times being what they are. Yes. Complete 
Immediately. You know. No. I have no idea. No. I mean, I've heard of, but I've never actually. No. Um, what exactly do you do? Oh uh, well, we keep to our usual stuff, more or less, only uh, inside out. You see, we do on stage what normally happens off. <laughs> Which is a kind of integrity if you look on every exit as being an entrance somewhere else. <laughs> well, I'm not really in the Oh, uh, onward. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, but don't go. Um, sit down and tell me of some of the things people ask you to do. Oh, oh wait, no. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing just an idea. Yes, yes. Well, oh, well, what will you do for that? <laughs> Well, I, I can do you blood and love with 
concurrent or consecutive, but I cannot do you rhetoric and love without the blood. Uh, blood is compulsory. You see, they're, they're all blood. <laughs> is that what people want? It's what we do. <laughs> we'll let you know. It's 38. Position. Yes, sir. Want to get up, though? Oh, no, sir. Oh. No. Uh, entrance is uh, there and there. Thank <laughs> you. 
The ambassadors from Norway, my good lord, are joyfully returned. Thou well, still hast been the father of good news. Have I, my lord? Assure you, my good liege, I hold my duty as I hold my soul both to my God and uh, to my gracious King. And I do think, or as this brain of mine <laughs> hunts not the train of policy so sure as it hath used to do, that I have found the very cause of Hamlet's lunacy. I want to go home. Don't let them confuse you. I'm out of my step here. We'll soon be home and dry. I and... It's all over my death. Dry and... Out of my step. Oh, you over won't. my head body. Dry I tell you, it's all stumbling to a death. Oh, you dry. Stumbling to a death. Dry. Stumbling to a head. Dry. It's all heading to a death. Stop. No, 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 no. It's all right. It's all right. We'll soon be home and dry. And I and dry. Landlord, has it ever happened to you that all of a sudden, and for no reason whatsoever, you have the faintest idea how to spell the word wife or house? Because when you write it down, you can't ever imagine having seen those letters in that order before. I remember. Yes. I remember when there were no questions. No. There were always questions. To exchange one set for another is no great matter. Answers, yes. There were answers to everything. You've forgotten. I haven't forgotten. How I used to remember my own name? And yours? Oh yes, there were answers everywhere we looked. There was no question about it. People knew who I was, and if they didn't, they asked, and I told them. You did. The trouble is, each one of them is plausible, without being instinctive. See, I mean, you live your life so close to the truth. It becomes a permanent blur in the corner of your eye. When something nudges it into outline, it's like being ambushed by a grotesque. A man standing in his saddle in a hat lit, hat lined on, hanging the shutters and called two names. He was just a hat and a cloak, levitating in the great plume of his own breath. <laughs> but when he called, we came. That much is certain. We came. <laughs> well, I can tell you, I'm sick to death of it. I don't care one way or another, so why don't you just make up your mind? Listen, we can't afford to be quite so arbitrary. Nor did we come all this way for a christening. But all that preceded us. But we are comparatively fortunate. I mean, we may, might have been left to sift through the whole field of human nomenclature like two blind men looting a bazaar for their own portraits. I mean, at least we're presented with alternatives. Well, as from now... But not choice. You made me look ridiculous in there. I, I look just as ridiculous as you did. Oh, consistency is all I ask. Oh, give us this dead daily mask. Oh, I want to go home. Where did we come in? I've lost my sense of direction! <laughs> the only beginning is birth, and the only end is death. Look, if you can't count on that, what can you count on? We don't owe anything to anyone. Look, we've been caught up. I mean, your smallest action sets off another somewhere else and is set off by it. Tread wearily. An eye open and an ear caught. Follow instructions. We'll be all right. For how long? Until events have played themselves out. There's a logic at work here. I mean, it, it's all been done for you. It's, so just relax. It's, it's like being a child again. Like being a child, like being late. Like, uh, like given an extra slice of childhood when you least expect it. As a prize for being good. Or compensation for never having had one. Do I contradict myself? Oh, I can't remember. Oh. What have we got to go on? Oh, Hamlet's transformation. We've been briefed. Uh, what do you recollect? Oh, well... He's changed, hasn't he? Uh, uh, the exterior and the inward man fails to resemble. Draw me more the pleasures. Glean what afflicts it. Something more than his father's death. You know, he's always talking about us. You know, there aren't two people living who we dote on more than us. We cheer him up, find out what's the matter. That's it. Right. It's a matter of asking the right questions and giving away as little as possible. It's a game. And then we can go. And receive such thanks as fits. A king's remembrance. Oh, I like the sound of that. Mm -hmm. What do you think he means by remembrance? He doesn't forget his friends. Uh, would you care to estimate? Difficult to say, really. Well, some kings tend to be amnesiac. Others, I suppose, the opposite. See, whatever that is. Yes, Elephantine? Uh, no, not how long, how much. Ooh, retentive! He's a very retentive king. <laughs> a royal retainer. <laughs> <laughs> Words. Words. They're all we have to go on. 
shouldn't we be doing something constructive? Uh, yeah, well, what did you have in mind? A short blunt human pyramid? We could go. Where? After him. <laughs> Why? We're placed now. If we start moving around, we'll just be chasing each other all night. Well, very intriguing. <coughs> I feel like a spectator. <coughs> oh. oh, an appalling business. <coughs> the only thing that makes it bearable is the irrational belief that somebody interesting might come on at any moment. See any more? No. You? No. <laughs> what a fine persecution. <laughs> to be kept intrigued without ever really quite being enlightened. <laughs> <laughs> We've had no practice. Oh, we can play a question. To work good with that, too. Practice. Statement, one love. Cheating. How? I hadn't started yet. Statement, two love. Are you counting that? What? Are you counting that? Foul, no repetitions, three love. First, I'm not going to play if you're going to be like that. No, sir. <laughs> Foul, no grunts, love, one. Who's go? Why? Why not? What for? Foul, no synonyms, one R. What in God's name is going on? Foul, no rhetoric, two, one. <laughs> what is it all led up to? Can't you guess? Are you addressing me? Is there anyone else? Who? How should I know? Yeah, why do you ask? Oh, are you serious? Was that rhetoric? No. Statement! Do all game oh. point! Um, uh, what's the matter with you today? When? What? Are you dead? Am I dead? Yes or no? Is there a choice? Is there a goal? No, 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 What's yours? No, 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 I asked you first. Think of one love. No, 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 what's your name when you're at home? What's yours? When I'm at home. Is it different at home? What's home? Haven't you got one? Why do you ask? What are you driving at? What is your name? Repetition to love that point to me. Who the hell do you think you are? Little rhetoric. Game and match. <laughs> when is it going to end? That. Is the question. It's all questions. Well, do you think it matters? Does it matter to you? Why should it matter? What does it matter why? Doesn't it matter why it matters? What's the matter with you? Doesn't matter. Well, what's the game? What are the rules? Frozen tracks! What? <gasps> How was that? Clever! You got it in your head. Oh, I hit my hat off oh, to you. I'll shake hands. <laughs> no, I'll try you. All right. I killed you. No, 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 no. Catch me unawares. Ready? Don't be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Gildan said. What? Oh, God. Consistency is all I ask. Oh, immortality is all I seek. Give us this day our daily week. <laughs> Who was that? Didn't you know him? Oh, he didn't know me. Uh, no, he didn't see him. I didn't see him. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll see. Yeah, I hardly knew him. <laughs> He's changed. You could see that. Transform. How do you know? Inside and out. See. He's not himself. He's changed. I could see that. Ooh, Glean would have fixed him. Me? Him. How? Question and answer. Always the best phrase. Oh, he's afflicted. You question, I'll answer. He's not himself, you know. I knew you, see. Who am I then? You're yourself. And he's you. Not a bit of it. Are you afflicted? Ah, that's the idea. You ready? Uh, let's go back a bit. I'm afflicted. I see. Glean would have fixed me? Great. Question and answer. How should I begin? Address me. My dear Guildenstern. You've forgotten, haven't you? <laughs> um, my dear Rosencrantz. <laughs> I don't think you quite understand. Um, look, <laughs> what we are attempting is a hypothesis, okay? In which I answer questions for him while you ask me the questions. Oh. Ready? Yeah, you know what to do. What? Are you stupid? Pardon? Are you deaf? Did you speak? Not now. Not now! Oh my god, if I had any doubt for Rebel Hopes, they are dispelled. <laughs> <laughs> and what should we possibly have in common except our situation? Perhaps he'll come back this way. Should we go? Why? Oh. Oh, I see! You mean, you pretend to be him, and I ask you the questions. Oh, very good. Cool. You had me confused. <laughs> oh, I could see I did. Uh, how should I begin? Address me. <clears throat> my honored lord. My dear Rosencrantz. Am I pretending to be you then? Certainly not. <laughs> if you like, may we continue? Question and answer. Right. Right. Mm. Okay. My honored lord. My dear... Hello. <laughs> How are you? Afflicted. Really? In what way? Transformed. 
inside or out? Both. I see. Mm. Well, not much new there. <laughs> Del, probe the background. Establish the situation. So, mm. um, so your uncle is the king of Denmark. Yeah, yeah, my father before him. And his father before him. No, my father before him. But surely... Well, you might well ask. Oh, wait, let me get it straight. Okay. Okay. Your father was king. Mm -hmm. You are his only heir. Yes. Your father dies, mm -hmm. and your uncle becomes king? Yes. Unorthodox. Undid me. Undeniable. Where were you? In Germany. Oh, you so patient then. Yeah, well, you slipped in. Which reminds me... It, well, well, it would. I don't want to be personal. No, 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 no it's common knowledge. Your mother's marriage. He slipped in. The <laughs> body was still warm. Oh, well, so was hers. Extraordinary. Decent. Tasty. Suspicious. It makes you think. Don't think I haven't thought of it. With her husband's brother. We're close. She went to him. Too close. For comfort. Looks bad. But adds up. Incest with adultery. Did you go so far? It, never. To sum it up. Yes. Your father, mm -hmm. whom you love, yeah. dies. Mm. You come back to find that Hodley was the corpse cold before his young brother popped onto his throne and into his sheets, thereby offending both legal and natural practice. Now, why exactly are you behaving in this extraordinary manner? <laughs> I can't imagine. <laughs> but this is all well known, common property. And yet he did send for us. We did come. I say! I heard music! We're here. Like a band. It sounded like a band. Rosencrantz. A what? Guildenstern. What? Don't you discriminate at all? A what? <laughs> Go and see if he's there. Who? No, there. Oh. Yes. Well, what's he doing? To himself? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Is he alone? <laughs> no. Well, then he's not talking to himself, is he? Not by himself. Mm -hmm. Coming this way, I think. Should we go? No, why, we must now. Or you yourself, sir, should be as old as I am. If, like a crab, you could walk backwards. Though this be madness, yet there is method in it. Will you walk out of the air, my lord? Into my grave? Indeed, that's out of the air. How pregnant sometimes his replies are. <laughs> my lord, I will take my leave of you. You cannot take anything from me that I will more willingly part with all, except my life, except my life, <laughs> except my life. Well, you will, my lord. You go to see Lord Hamlet. There he is. God save you, sir.
is not very strange, for my uncle is king of Denmark. Those who would make mouths at him while my father still live, give twenty, forty, fifty, a hundred ducats apiece for his picture and little. His blood, there's something more in this than natural. <laughs> the philosophers could find it out. Ooh, here come the players. <laughs> you are welcome to Elsinore. Your hands, come then. The appurtenance of welcome is fashion and ceremony, but let me comply with you in this garb, lest my extant to the players, which I take in my show fairly outward, should appear more like entertainment than yours. You are welcome. But my uncle father and aunt mother are deceived. In what, my dear lord? I am but mad, north, northwest. When the wind is southerly, I know a hawk for man's all. <laughs> well, we with you, Jack. <laughs> Mark you, Gildenstern, and you too. At each ear, a hearer. That great baby you see there is not yet out of his swaddling clouts. My lord, I have news to tell you. My lord, I have news to tell you. When Rossius was an actor in Rome. The actors are come hither, my lord. Buzz, buzz. <laughs> Of the sun. 
I forget what you're trying to establish. <laughs> I'm trying to establish the direction of the wind. There isn't any wind. Draft, yes. <laughs> in that case, the origin. Can you trace it to its source, and it might give us a rough idea of the way we came in, which might give us a rough idea of self. For further reference. Um, it's coming up through the floor. <laughs> that can be south, can it? <laughs> that is not a direction. Lick your toe and wave it around a bit. <laughs> no, no, I, you have to lick it for me. Oh, I'm prepared to let the whole matter drop. Oh, I don't like yours, no, 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 no. I'll no. leave it wave it around for you. What in God's name is the matter with you? I'm just being friendly. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Somebody might come in. I mean, it's what we're counting on after all, ultimately. Perhaps they've all trampled each other to death in the rush. Give them a shift. Something provocative. Intrigue them. Wheels have been set in motion, and they have their own pace to which we are condemned. Uh, each move is dictated by the previous one. That is the meaning of order. Look, if we stop being arbitrary, it'll, it'll just be a shambles. <laughs> well, at least let us hope so. I mean, because if we happen, just happen to discover that our spontaneity was part of their order, we know we were lost. A Chinaman of the Tang Dynasty, and by which definition a philosopher, once dreamed that he was a butterfly. From that moment on, he was never quite sure that he wasn't a butterfly, dreaming it was a Chinese philosopher. Envy him in his twofold security. <laughs> Fire! Where? No, it's all right. What? I'm just demonstrating the misuse of free speech to prove that it exists. <laughs> Not to move. They should burn to death in their shoes. <laughs> what was it? What? Hands or tails? I didn't look. <laughs> yes, you did. Oh, did I? <clears throat> mm, quite right, it rings a bell. <laughs> What's the last thing you remember? I don't wish to be reminded of it. We cross our bridges when we come to them and burn them behind us. But nothing to show for our progress except the memory of the smell of smoke and the presumption that once our eyes wandered. <laughs> no. Mm, figures. <laughs> A double block. <laughs> stop it, stop it. Oh, sorry. Come, 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 friends. We shall hear a play tomorrow. Now, mind your tongue, or we'll have it out. And so the 
Not yet. You left us. Uh, yes, you performed a dramatic spectacle along the way. Yeah, I'm sorry we had to miss it. Oh, we can't look each other in the face. You don't understand the humiliation of it. To be tricked out of the single assumption that makes our existence viable. That somebody is watching us. <laughs> The plot was two corpses gone before we caught sight of ourselves, stripped naked in the middle of the nowhere, pouring ourselves down a bottomless well. Is that 38? There we were, demented children, mincing about in clothes that no one ever wore, speaking words that no one ever spoke, swearing loud in wigs and rhyme couplets, killing each other with wooden swords. Oh, although protestations of faith hurled after empty promises of vengeance, every gesture, every pose, vanishing into the thin, unpopulated air. We ransomed our dignity to the clouds, and, and only the uncomprehending birds listened. We're actors. <laughs> We're the opposite of people. <laughs> <laughs> think. Now, now, think. In your head, think of a single, a most private, secret, intimate thing you've ever done. Secure in the knowledge of its privacy. Eh? Are you thinking of it? Well, I saw you do it! Oh, you know! <laughs> it's alive! <laughs> we are actors. We, we pledged our identities, secure in the conventions of our trade, that somebody would be watching us. And then gradually, nobody was. We were caught high and dry. It wasn't until the murderer's long soliloquy that we could begin to look around. You know, frozen as we were in profile, our eyes began to search you out, first confidently, then hesitantly, then desperately, as, as, as each patch of turf, each, each log, every exposed corner in every direction proved uninhabited. And all the while, the murderous king addressed the horizon with his dreary, interminable guilt. <laughs> Our heads began to move. Where is Lizard? The corpse of Rosalinda, unsullied Rosalinda, peeped through his fingers. And the king faltered. But even then, habit and a stubborn trust that our audience spied on us from some, some corner forced our bodies to blunder on long after they'd emptied of meaning until, right, like runaway carts, they dragged to a halt. Oh, no one came forward. No one shouted at us. The silence was unbreakable. It, it imposed itself on us. It was obscene. We took off our swords and our crowns and, and cloth of gold and moved silent on the road to Elsinore. Brilliantly recreated. Oh, if these eyes could weep. A rather strong on metaphor, mind you. And not a criticism, merely a matter of taste. Well, anyways, here you are with a vengeance. That's a figure of speech, isn't it? Well, let us say that we've made up for it. For you have no doubt whom to thank for your performance tonight at the court. We are counting on you to take him out of himself. Mm. You are the pleasures which we draw him on to. And by that, I don't mean by your usual filth. You know, you can't treat royalty like people with normal perverted desires. <laughs> they know nothing of you, and you know nothing of them. The two of you need to survive. No. So give them a good clean show suitable for all the family. Or you can rest assured they'll be playing by the tavern tonight. Yeah, or the night after. Or not. We already have an entry here. We already always have had. You've played for him before? Yes, sir. And what's his then? Classical. Saucy. What will you play? The murder of Gonzago. Ah. Full of fine cadence and corpses. Pirated from the Italian. Oh, what is it about? Oh, it's about a king and a queen. Oh, escapism. <laughs> Blood. Love and rhetoric. Yes, sir. Yes. Oh, well, where are you going? Oh, I can come and go as I please. Well, you're obviously a man who knows his way around. <laughs> I've been here before. Yeah, well, we're, we're still finding our feet. Oh, I should uh, concentrate on not losing your heads. Do you speak from knowledge? Precedent. Oh, well, you've been here before. Uh, and I know which way the wind is blowing. <laughs> are we leading our two levels, are we? Oh, how clever. I suppose it comes naturally to you, being in a business, so to speak. Oh, look, I'm sorry. <laughs> to tell you the truth, we desire your company. For want of any other, 
I mean, we've been left so much to our own devices. One welcomes the uncertainty of being left to someone else's. Uncertainty is the normal state. You're nobody special. Yeah, but we don't know what we're supposed to do. <laughs> Relax. Respond. That's what people do. I mean, you can't go through life questioning your situation at every turn. Yeah, but we don't know what's going on. Oh, what to do with ourselves. We don't know how to act. Oh, act natural. <laughs> you at least know why you're here. Oh, well, we only know what we're told. Uh, that's little enough. And for all we know, it isn't even true. For all anyone knows, nothing is. Everything has to be taken on trust. Truth is only that which is taken to be true. It's the currency of living. <laughs> there may be nothing behind it, but that doesn't matter as long as it's honored. <laughs> <laughs> Who one acts on assumptions? Uh, what do you assume? Oh, Hamlet is not himself. Hmm? We must glean what afflicts him. He doesn't give much away. Well, who does nowadays? <laughs> <laughs> He's a uh, melancholy. Melancholy? Mad. Well, how is he mad? Um, how is he mad? Well, more morose than mad, perhaps. <gasps> melancholy! <laughs> Moody. Oh, well, he has mood. Of moroseness. And madness, and yes. Quite. For instance. He talks to himself. Which might be madness if he didn't talk sense. Which he does. Mm. It's Which just the opposite. Yeah. Of what? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I got it! Oh, yeah. A man talking sense to himself is no madder than a man talking nonsense not to himself. Or just as mad. Or just as mad. And he does both. So there you have it. Start raving sane. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Exactly. Exactly what? Exactly why? Exactly why what? Why? Why? Why what? Why is he mad? I don't know! Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> the old man thinks he's in love with his daughter. Oh, good God, we're out of our depth here. No, 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 no. He hasn't got a daughter. The old man thinks he's in love with his daughter. The old man is. Hamlet. <laughs> In love with the old man's daughter, the old man thinks. Oh! <laughs> oh it's beginning to make sense! Unrequited passion! Nobody leaves this room! <laughs> Without a very good reason. <laughs> Why not? All this trolling about is getting too arbitrary by half. But I am starting to rapidly lose my grip. <laughs> From now on, reason will prevail. Oh, I have lines to learn. Yeah. Pass. <laughs> Next! Well, what did you expect? Something. Someone. Oh, nothing. Are you hungry? No. You? No. Mm. You remember that coin? No. I think I lost it. What coin? I don't remember exactly. Oh, that coin. You know, Clever. You know, I can't remember how I did it. Well, it probably comes natural to you. Yes, I've got a showstopper there. <laughs> Do it again. Oh, well. We can't afford it. Oh, no. Yeah. One must think of the future. It's the normal thing. Yeah, one is, after all, having one all the time. Now. And now. Ooh, and now. You know, it could go on forever. Yeah. Well. Well, not forever, I suppose. You know, do you ever actually think of yourself as dead? Lying in a box with a lid on it? No. Oh, no, do I really? I mean, it's silly to be depressed by it. I mean, one thinks of themselves as being alive in a box. But one keeps forgetting to take into account the fact that one is dead. Which should make all the difference, shouldn't it? I mean, you'd never know you were in a box. It would just be like sleeping in a box. Not that I'd like to sleep in a box, mind you. Not without any air. I mean, you'd wake up dead for a start. <laughs> and then where would you be? Apart from inside the box. You know, that's the bit I don't like, frankly. That's why I don't think about it. Because you'd be helpless, wouldn't you? Stuffed in a box like that? I mean, you could be in there forever. Even taking into account the fact that you're dead, it is no pleasant thought. I mean, especially if you're dead. You know, ask yourself. If I ask you straight off, I'm going to stuff you in this box now, would you rather be alive or dead? Naturally, you prefer to be alive. 
shattering, stabbed into one's memory. And yet, I can't remember it. What does one make of that? You know, we must be born with an intuition of mortality. Before we know the words for it, before we know there are words, out we come bloodied and squalling that for all the compasses in the world, there's only one direction. And time is its only measure. I hand you a fairness and a lion tamer, chance to meet on the Indo-Chinese border. <laughs> They're taking us for granted. You know, I am not going to stand for it. In future, notice will be taken. Keep out, then. I forbid anyone to enter. There, that's better. <laughs> Death followed by eternity. The worst for both worlds. <laughs> it is a terrible thought. <laughs> Did he receive you well? Um, oh, most like a gentleman. Yeah, but with much forcing of his disposition. Um, negative question, but most for you and I demand was his reply. Did you assay him to any pastime? Madam, it so fell out that certain players we are up on the way. And of these we told him, and there did seem in him a kind of joy to hear of it. They are already heroes, I think, and have already ordered this night to play before him. Oh, it is most true. And he beseeched me to entreat your majesties to hear and see the matter. With all my heart. And it doth much content me to hear him so inclined. Good gentlemen, give him a further edge and drive his purpose under these delights. We shall, my lord. Sweet Gertrude, leave us too. We have closely sent for Hamlet hither, that he may, as were by accident, oh, here in front, Ophelia. Never a moment's peace, in and out, on and off. The coming ass from all sides. You're never satisfied. Catching us on the track, eh? Why can't we go by then? What's the difference? I'm going. Oh, for God's sake. He's coming. What's he doing? Nothing. Well, he must be doing something. Walking. But on his hands? No, on his feet. Stark naked. Fully dressed. Selling toffee apples. <laughs> Not that I noticed. Oh, you could be wrong. I don't think so. Oh, God, for the life of me, I don't know how we're going to get into conversation. <laughs> oh, one might say this was a chance. Yes. One might well accost him. Right. Yes, this definitely looks like a chance yes. to me. <laughs> Something on the lines of a man to man. Straight from the shore, you know. I did it before. Direct and formal, what's done that sort of thing? Yes, yes, this looks like one to be grabbed this old pen. If I should say so. Your turn. If I were asked. Your turn. You know, there's no point in looking in the eyes of the gift horse until you see the whites of its eyes, etc. You know, we're overall, that's our trouble. When it comes to the point, we succumb to their personality. Nymph, thy orisons be all my sins remembered. <coughs> Sit down. Will you stop? 
stop being perverse. I am not going to stand for it! Gentlemen, <laughs> it doesn't seem to be coming. 
we're not, we're not getting it. Anyway, what do you think? Uh, what was I supposed to think? <laughs> we're not getting across. Well, that didn't look like love to me. Oh, we're practically starting from scratch again. It was a mess. It's going to be chaos the night. Oh, keep back. Keep back. We're spectators now. <laughs> Act two. Positions. Wait a minute, wasn't that the end? Would you call that an ending with practically everybody standing on their feet? <laughs> oh my goodness, no, over your dead body. <laughs> How am I supposed to take that? Lying down! <laughs> <laughs> Events must play themselves out to their logical, moral, and aesthetic conclusions. Uh, yeah, well, what's that in this case? Well, never varies. We aim at a point where everybody marked for death dies. Marked? Well, between Tragic Island and Just Desserts, we left a lot of scope for our own. <laughs> uh, generally speaking, uh, things have got, gone as far as they can possibly go when things have gone about as bad as they can reasonably get. <laughs> <laughs> Who decides? Who decides? Oh, it is written. Ah, uh, now, now, now. Uh, if you're going to be subtle, we'll miss each other in the dark. <laughs> I, I was referring to oral tradition, <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> we're we're tragedians. We follow directions. There's no choice involved. I mean, the good end unhappily, the bad unluckily. It's what tragedy means. <laughs> Positions. <laughs> A go. Ah, <laughs> 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 No. 
Oh, it's a slaughterhouse. Eight corpses all told. Brings out the best in us. You! What do you know about death? It brings out the best in the actors. Well, they have to exploit whatever talent they're given. Their talent is dying. I mean, they can die heroically, or comically, or ironically, or slowly, or suddenly, or disgustingly, or charmingly, <laughs> or from a great height. <laughs> uh, my own talent is more general. I, I extract significance from melodrama. It's a significance which does not, in fact, exist. <laughs> but sometimes, out of this matter, there escapes a thin beam of light which, uh, seen from the right direction, can crack the shell of mortality. Is that all that they can do? Huh? Die? Oh, no, 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 no. They kill beautifully. I mean, some of them kill better than they die. The others die better than they kill. They're, they're a team, you see. <laughs> oh, which one's a witch? Well, there's not much in it. Actors. <laughs> the mechanics of cheap melodrama. That isn't death. You scream. You choke. You sink to your knees. That doesn't bring death home to anyone. I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't catch them unawares and, and stop the whisper in their skulls that says, one day. You are going to die. You die so many times. How can you expect them to believe in your death? Oh, on the contrary, it's what they do believe in. They're conditioned to it. You see, I, I once had an actor who was condemned to death for stealing a sheep. Or a lamb, I forget which. But I got permission to have him hanged in the middle of a play. I had to change the plot a little, but I thought it would be effective, you know. But you wouldn't believe it. It just didn't work. It, it was impossible to suspend one's disbelief. What with the crowd jeering and throwing peanuts all the time, the whole thing was a disaster. I mean, it just stood there all the time, crying. It's right out of character. Just stood there and cried. Well, never again, you know. Audiences know what to expect, and that is all they're prepared to believe in. Now, then, then, then. So! And get 
getting our names wrong. Oh, Gilded Spoon! You're wrong. <laughs> Friends, it's both. But go and join you with some further aid. Hamlet in madness hath Polonius slain, and from his mother's closet he hath dragged the body. Now seek him out. Yes. Speak fair, and bring the body into the chapel. I pray you haste! Oh, come away, Gertrude. We'll call up our wisest friends and let them know both what we mean to do and what is untimely done. Well. Quite. Well, well. Quite, quite. <laughs> to seek him out. What? Sarah. Yeah. Quite. Well. Well, that's a step in the right direction. You didn't like him? Who? Oh, good God, I hope more tears are shed for us. <laughs> well, it's progress, isn't it? <laughs> Something positive. Seek him out. Where does one begin? Um, well, well, that's a step in the right direction. Look, I'll tell you what. Why don't you go that way and I'll go this way? No, no. What? You go this way and I'll go that way. Fine. Okay. You know what? What? I just thought. Maybe we ought to stick together. He might be violent. Hmm. Good point. <laughs> I'll come with you. Okay. No. No, 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 no. I'll come with you. Fine. Okay. I'll come with you. My way. All right. <laughs> you know what? If we both go, he could come here. That would be stupid, wouldn't it? Mm. You go, I'll stay. Okay. Right. Um, right. You know, um, you know, I just thought, if we both go, you know, maybe, you know, maybe we just ought to stick together. He might be violent. That's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> Well, at least we're getting somewhere. <laughs> of course, he might not come. He'll come. We'd have some explaining to do. Don't worry, he'll come. <laughs> Take my word for it. He's coming. Oh, God, what's he doing? Walking. Alone? No. Not walking? No. Well, who's with him? The old man is. Walking? No. Oh, now there's an opportunity if ever there was one. <laughs> oh, quick, come over here. Get an idea. Let him walk into our trap. What trap? Take off your belt. Okay. <laughs> All right, now stand over there and don't let him pass. <laughs> oh. The king 
is not with the body. The king is a thing. A thing, my lord? Of nothing. Bring me to him. Oh, of course, yes, let's. same sky. 